All right, welcome back to Tulsiology. My name is Dave. Thanks for tuning in. Um, after watching last night's debate, <laughs> I got my I got my Joe Jorgensen T-shirt on. Um, you know, I could wear my Tulsi Gabbard shirt too, uh, but Tulsi, at least in my state, I don't think there's a way for me to write her name in on the ballot. Uh, I think if these candidates meaning the Greens and Libertarians, actually got some exposure, they would get thousands, if not millions, of people to switch from this two-party nightmare. These two candidates uh, was not impressed with Trump last night, was not impressed with Biden last night, although I'm sure the media will talk uh, incessantly about how Biden did so well and held his own. Look, if it's going to be um, super steroid neoliberal Biden, I fear more than if Trump gets elected. Uh, the debate last night was meaningless. Uh, there was not much substance going on during this debate. Uh, it becomes a contest of whose appendage is larger. And I'll tell you what, there was really no clear winner last night. Um, Biden did not fall off the podium, so he's going to earn points for that. Um, Trump and Chris Wallace weren't getting along all that well. Uh, and look, Chris Wallace is in the tank for a neoliberal Democrat. And I think Trump had to kind of fend off both of them. Although everybody's going to say Trump was a bully because he interrupted yada, yada, yada. Um, the sad thing about all of this, and I know most Americans don't care because Americans Yesterday, all day long, oh, do you have your popcorn popped? Or are you ready for this? This is going to be bigger than the Super Bowl, bigger than this, bigger than that. And that's, if we, if we view politics in just that way, I'm not saying you can't get excited about watching your candidate. Because then, you know, that it just takes all, it takes all the energy and enthusiasm out of it. But when we've kind of dumbed down our politics to the point that it is no more important than watching an NFL game or, you know, the Stanley Cup final, which again, sports are exciting. Politics are typically wonky and boring. And that's why you could tell most of this just drifts away from actual policies. Like, if Biden calls out Trump on the 200,000 people that have supposedly died here in the United States, and I say that, and please don't hit me with I'm a conspiracy theorist, dying with COVID is not the same as dying from COVID. All right, let's just put that out there. But it's not that part of it that irritates me. The part of it that irritates me is, okay, Joe, so what would you do to make things better? And, you know, locking the country down, uh, you're going to starve people. You're going to have people uh, in depression. Uh, you're going to have people suicidal. Uh, you're going to have kids that grow up with a very odd sort of uh, standoffish view of humanity. I can't get near people. I can't talk to people. I can't touch people. Um, I don't know if that's a solution. All right. And it's this, if you're on the right, you believe that you open things up. If you're on the left, you believe you're going to shut things down. And that's how this has become political. It's, it's pretty much insanity. Uh, and that's how this debate felt to me. It felt very pointless and very useless. Yeah, and Trump doesn't do any favors. He talks and talks and talks. Um, he certainly has more energy and more stamina than Joe Biden, who, again, whatever he was hopped up on, he started to fade a little bit toward the end, uh, 90 minutes, and it seemed to go on a little bit longer than that because it got off to a bit of a, a late start. Uh, I was just unimpressed. And I say, hey, Greens, hey, Libertarians, there's got to be an independent, this is a call out to independent media out there the Nico houses of the world, you know, people who, you know, the, the comfy couch, the convo couch. Hey, how about having a live stream with a libertarian candidate, Joe Jorgensen and the Green Party 
candidate Howie Hawkins. All right. And if you want to bring uh, Mark Charles in there as well uh, to talk about these issues, I'm okay with that. But I would I would be happy if you could get uh, Greens and Libertarians because they do have a small window of opportunity to possibly make a dent in this thing and persuade people that they don't have to vote for these two guys. All right. Now you're invested. Maybe you're invested into Trump because you dislike Biden. All the Biden people are just voting for Biden because they hate Trump so much. At the end of the day, not much is going to change. If you're on the left, you heard Biden say some things last night like, nope, no Green New Deal, not going to do it. Not going to do it. And I think that's true. I, <laughs> All of you Bernie people and all of you uh, sheep herders out there, you know, um, Crystal Ball, who I uh, ripped a new one yesterday, and she deserved it because she says stupid stuff, all right? And she's been a Bernie cheerleader since the very beginning, and she's got Bernie blinders on. Bernie is supposedly going to make Joe Biden into Bernie Sanders. No, it's, it's a game. It's just I want your supporters, but I don't want to do what they want me to do. It's just a game. It's a numbers game. If I vote for this guy, there's a fight. You've got a better chance at Donald Trump doing the stuff that Bernie Sanders did. Okay. Joe Biden locked a whole bunch of people up. Donald Trump, prison reform, let a whole bunch of people out. See how that works? So in the end, you can do what you want to do with these two guys. But if you really want to talk substance, Greens and Libertarians having their own debate, independent media. I think it's a great idea, and I think maybe somebody should do it. And I don't think it would be a hard thing to do. Um, you could put it on the night after these two bozos go up against each other. Put it on the next night and give people, hey, this is what real presidential candidates talk about, what they would do to solve problems and make the country work better. That's it. That's my video. See you soon.